Okay, so hi, I just want to show you guys how I blend my um, wig together with my natural hair and the tips and all that good stuff. But before I start, let me show y'all my cute little wings. I got these at the Prop Parade here in Houston yesterday. They're cute. I love these little wings. But anyway, so this is what you need. I have my hair braided back and I just have like a little stocking thing over it with like my... Um, edges out so you need your wig which i have a video on how i customize this wig so this is just like a little wig that you need trust me this wig needs to be washed even though it's synthetic i can wash it i don't do shampoo i just do conditioner and um comb it out actually i just take a big comb and part it and comb it out i just shake it and go I ain't gonna lie now to blend you will need um some gel I prefer brown gel because brown gel especially if your edges are thin it kind of covered it up I used to use like the echo style but I've been like an pro lately I don't know a better hold I'll take some darker brown eyeshadow this is black color pop and a little makeup brush that I got from um, my Ipsy bag from Glam Balls just any makeup brush some concealer this is just the knits one um, and a, a comb. I prefer the metal rat tail because it's like a more precise part. So with your hair, what you could do is part it to how you want it. Just do it like that. And just gel down your little sides. It just came out that growing back. So this should be side. After my last sewing, this side thinned out so much, so now I've been doing some treatments, which I'll show if it works to grow them back. This one's already growing back, so I just gel down my sides. Um, and get that done. What you can also do if your edges are really thin, this is what is this um, comes in at some black eyeshadow. They sell some stuff now, but I've used black eyeshadow and eyeliner pencils, waterproof liners forever. So I'll just take some eyeshadow and just kind of fill in the dark, the light spots like that. Just fill them in. They actually sell like some stuff at Sally's too, like a little, it looks like a mascara and it's for edges, but just use that. It works just fine. And things like ColourPop is so long lasting that it doesn't sweat off and run down one time i used the eyeliner pencil when i was sweating <laughs> black stuff it was embarrassing okay so i take my wig i have a little part that i opened up before and i just place it on my head line it up with the part how i want it if you want the middle do it in the middle i mean just line it up how you want it like that once I have it lined up correctly, then I just pull the rest of it down. It's easier for me. There you go. So now your part should be kind of lined up. Then we're not done. Okay. I mean, if you want to get up and go, you could, but we're not done. So now that I have my part lined up with that one, then I'll just adjust the rest. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, y'all need some bobby pins. I don't use the cones. I prefer to just stick a bobby pin in there. Now leave this little tail out so it can look more natural. So that's what that's there. So I take a bobby pin. Secure it around the edges. If your edges are thin in one part, I want, I, personally, I don't like anything pulling my edge. So I won't put it like right on a thinner spot. Hmm, my braces kind of hurt me back there for some reason. Anyway, um... So I'll just pin it and then for the top one, like I don't like, if it's like a hump, it's going to bother me. I'll take a stick one without the ball and then I'll go in between it and flatten it out because I don't want it looking bulky or bother me like a cone head or something. And you can take a regular pin too because, you know, the wig has like nets so you can get through it. Now I would flatten it out and pin it down to flatten it. That way it can kind of look flat. Okay, so you're not done there. Now the blending part. 
Well, I'm gonna comb it out a little bit. This is what I do. Cause it's, it's synthetic. We all know that it's not like good hair. So I will take a comb and kind of separate any kinks or mats. <laughs> Cause it's, oh, hold up. Peel the pin out. Oh, you're fucking up y'all. Okay. There we go. Get the comb on dry. So I would just take any mats and just comb it out. Fluff it out, make it look like something. I mean, you know, this side is shorter because I think this wig is meant to be weight worn a different way. So I don't know. But I don't care. And sometimes I need to I think I need to cut this anyway. You know what? This one. I want the more layered. This has nothing to do with the video, but it was too um, bulky. Right there. I didn't like it. So I wanted to take it up layered over here. So I can kind of have a frame. I'm going to put it back anyway, but still. Pin this part back. So, so this is how you do the concealer. Okay. So once this is down like that, make sure my part is okay. Part it, make sure the part is lined up. Because, you know, with all that moving, you can mess up and stuff. Line it if you want. comb it to get most of the hair, like the little hairs, the little hair. You can even take the part and go up under the net and open it up. So you just do that, comb it out. Take your concealer and I just take the back of the comb and dip it in there. That way it could be the line that I need because the line is about the, line, the side of that line. And I just flatten it out. Flatten it on there and then flick it. Flick it. Get everything in the same color. Flick it. Flick it down. Don't worry about if it gets anywhere else. Got another trick for that. Oops, I put too much, y'all. Hold on. There we go. Flick it. Just go down and it's going to give you that thin line. Press it with your finger for anything else. And you got like a seamless little thing going on right there, right? Girl, what do I do, y'all? So, anyway, so now that you got that together, the line, then that's when you go back in with your black eyeshadow and you kind of just clean up. Clean up a little bit. That's it. That's all. Clean up. If your line is too big, you can make it smaller with a black shadow. Just clean it up. There you go. Especially up here. And then sometimes, you know, your part could be thicker than the wig part because the wig part is sometimes it's thin. Unless you open it up too much, and I wouldn't recommend doing that. So, you just want to clean up with the black shadow. See that? That's up. So, now you got that going. It looks like your wig belongs to someone. Let me put some more pins in the back because it's just not flat like I need it. A lot of it could be because of the braids that I did up under it. It's not the Lattice because I, I want to be able to take my hair down quick. I'm tender headed when I have to wash it. I'm trying to wash it every week because of the world thing I'm doing. So I just have a big, bulky twist up under here, honestly. Okay, oh, that's a little better. So now, what you can do, take your gel, put your brown gel on there. Preferably, I like to use a toothbrush. 
You know, somebody was on Instagram selling um, some kind of edge control toothbrush. I didn't even look at the price of the comments. Oh, I know. I'm going to get the toothbrush. The comments said that they were very expensive. And I'm like, who the fuck would buy that? Like, just get a toothbrush. It's fine. Ugh. I don't want to knock nobody hustle, but some stuff is just ridiculous. Anyway. Okay, just do your edges however you want to do them. If you feel like, oh, it looks too thin, you see how that is? Take your eyeshadow. I'm going to take my finger this time because since it's wet, I don't want to wet up my makeup brush or contaminate my shadow. So, there. Yeah. You don't wait till it dry and do it. So, now what you do, I prefer to wear mine back behind my ear. So, I'll take it and I'll just um, take a piece from the bottom to cover that up, make that look real. And I'll just take it and push it back behind my ear because I like it behind my ear for some reason now. That's just how I like to wear it behind my ear. Take a little piece from the bottom and don't forget sometimes you know it's synthetic so if you stuck together just pull it out no big deal. Alright. Take it behind my ear with the pin. And I'll just pin it behind my ear because I don't want the pin to really just show the front. And then just spray that out a little bit. And that's how I prefer to wear mine. You can pin it as much as you want. Pin, pin, pin. And if you have it pinned good enough, hell, you can wrap it up and sleep in it with a butter cap because I've done it before. That's all. That's how you blend the synthetic wig with your hair. See? Seamless. Looks really, really good. Really, really natural. And I love my part when it go like that, like that, versus just straight. Because I think that makes it look a little wiggy. It's just straight. And since my hair is kinky and this wig is kinky, I don't have to straighten out anything. I can, uh, well, not the pin, I can pin it back if I want. Because, you know, I have like a hairline. It's not wiggy. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything or any tips for me, because I'm still learning, let a player know. I'll link uh, the other video about this wig. This is really, really old. It still holds up because since it's so kinky, it looks good when it's old to me. I mean, it's still fine. I don't put anything on it because it's synthetic. I don't put any products on it. I just shake and go. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And please, please, please subscribe to my can um, channel subscribe okay and then leave me comments if you have any questions have a good day